from the, from the people who brought you iPhone Friday, it's time for What's New Wednesday, where, I don't know, I just find some cool um, apps or services or programs or websites or whatever out there, and just, you know, what's new? It's what's happening. It's what's cool. And um, if you're cool, and I know you are, uh, you'll want to be watching this every Wednesday as we do What's New Wednesday. I'm just, I'm just playing. I'm having a good day today. So I hope you're staying safe, and I hope things are uh, good where you are, your family and your friends and your home and is all safe and secure and all that. And, uh, you know, just keep doing the good work. Keep washing your hands. So today, I wanted to start off What's New Wednesday with a new app that I found, which is all about helping you to sort all those photos that you have on your phone. And uh, we, we talked about this, or I mentioned this on the uh, post earlier, uh, that said, you know, uh, you use your phone like crazy now. Probably taking pictures is what? The number, if it's not the number one thing you do with your phone, it's probably the number two or three thing, right? I mean, I, nobody makes phone calls anymore. You're either texting people or you're, you know, on social media or you're taking pictures. And for some people, taking pictures is the number one thing to do. So what happens? You have hundreds, if not thousands, of photos on your phone. And today we're going to look at an app that I have discovered which will help you to um, sort them out and to actually, um, well, to make it easier for you to get them, you know, where they need to be. How's that? All right. So with that in mind, let's, let's dig right in. So over to the phone we go. There we are. And um, so the, the app, the app is called, and I'm not sure if I'm even pronouncing this right, but it's called Odoa, I think. It's O-D-O-A. O-D-O-A. And you can see it, sorry, you can see it right there. It's the red one with the white stripes on it. So if you're looking for it in the app store, it's spelled O-D-O-A, and it's called Odoa, I, I think. <laughs> Don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. So, but if you look at the app store and you find that the red and white, you know, the red and white logo like that, you'll be fine. Okay. Odoa is what it's called. So uh, what it does basically is you just install, it just does one thing. It does one thing and it does it very well. And that is sort your photos into albums on your phone. So how does that work? Well, I'm so glad you asked. Uh, once you've downloaded it and you started it up, of course, it's going to ask for permission to look at your photos and you have to say yes or, you know, you don't get anywhere. So let's dig into that, though. And here we go. So in Odo, isn't, isn't that just the cutest? I took a picture of me teaching class a couple of months ago here uh, in Sarasota. So anyway, that's me in my classroom. So what are we looking at? You've got pictures, obviously. And if you look down beneath the the one picture where it starts you have like a film strip right of all the photos and i can see look as i go back and forth they all change right there's me sitting at my computer etc cetera, etc cetera. so you can slide back and forth as much as you want with photos to find where you're at that's a good idea but really what you want to do is you want to organize them into photo albums and that's what we're here for so down beneath that see where the white strip is those are all the albums that you have currently on your phone, okay? I don't have a whole lot of them. I've got, you know, uh, let's see, stuff I use for Instagram and stuff I use for Pinterest and stuff when my partner and I went to visit New York City and things like that. Chances are, if you've just taken a whole bunch of photos, I don't know, let's say you went to a party or something like that. I, I guess you could go to a party nowadays if you did the social distancing thing, but anyway... You went to a party, you went to some event, you did something where you took a bunch of pictures and you want to create a new album and put them all into that album, right? So one of the things that Odoa lets you do is create a brand new album. And that's down the red button with the plus sign on it, the first thing down there in the lower left corner. And if you tap on, and you can't hardly read it on my screen, I apologize, it's so small, but it says create under that red button there. So you tap on the red button and it says new album. And all you gotta do is give it a name. You just type a name, all right? So I'm gonna say, I don't know, uh, uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, all right? Oh, it would help if I could spell it right, N-E-S-D-A-Y. <laughs> Wednesday album, there we go. And then you touch on the big red create button. And then what happens is it adds that album to your list of albums, and as you can see, it's it's at the very end. So I know I created it, and it's like, hey, where the heck is it, right? 
Well, it's I just created it, so it's the it's the last one. I got to scroll all the way over, and if you could read that little itty bitty tiny type down there in the lower right corner, it would say Wednesday, which is our Wednesday album. Now here's the here's the magic, and here's how this all happens, right? So if I tap on that album, for starters, I can move it if I want to slide it to the somewhere else within the list. If I just lay my finger on it, remember last week we talked about long press where you basically just lay your finger on an app and wait for it, you know, to, to do something, or you can feel it. Sometimes it'll have a little, what they call haptic feedback. It makes a little tick feel and you can feel it. Same thing on these albums. So if I lay my finger on it, ah, it made a little click and I could feel it. And now as I move my finger, look what happens. That album gets dragged to the left and I'm just sliding it on the left here until I get it to the very first position. And when I let go, it stays there. That's easy stuff, okay? You can really leave the album anywhere you want. It's not all that important, but for me, I kind of want to see it there, right? So now as I go through photos, as I see the photos on, on my phone there, I see my smiling face. I want that one in the Wednesday album. So all I have to do now is touch on the album down at the bottom that I want the photo to go into. Pretty clever. So again, I can make a brand new album or I could just sort them into existing albums. It doesn't matter, but I just made this one for Wednesday and so let's try it. So I got a photo up there and all I got to do is literally tap on the Wednesday album down at the bottom. Boop. And that photo, you see it kind of went down. There's a, I don't know why I took a picture of a trailer, but I did. So tap again on Wednesday. Boop. It goes down there. There's another me uh, having a you know birthday cupcake or something. Tap. Boop. Down it goes, down it goes, down it goes, down it goes, down it goes. Okay, you know, me and the partner out for dinner, all that. So, awesome. Now, you may come across a photo that you don't want to put in an album, at least not yet. Maybe you're only just sorting certain ones out, okay? So, with that in mind, all you have to do is swipe down on the photo itself. So, I put my finger on it and I pull down and it goes to the next photo, down goes to the next photo, down goes to the next photo, okay? So that's cool, I can keep doing that all I want. And then when, uh, if I should find one that it's like I don't want it, let's, let's see here if I find something, uh, I don't know, I don't know why I kept this, I don't know why I kept this car, I really, oh, because his license plate, his license plate said no tofu, I thought that was kind of cute. But if I don't want it anymore, okay, swipe up, to delete it. It doesn't delete the photo just yet, but look, if I swipe, now look up in the very top, very, I'm sorry, very top of the thing where it says four photos to be deleted. All right, now watch the number. If I swipe up again, it'll go to five, and now I can go to six, and now I can go to seven. So there's three things you can do. You can tap on an album down at the bottom, and the photo that you are looking at will go into that album just like that. Or you can say, eh, I don't want it to go into an album. I'll sort it later. Swipe down or swipe up to mark it to be deleted. It's just that simple. And then if you want to see the ones that you're ready to delete, you just see where it says up the top. It says trash. You tap on trash. All right. There's all the ones I have marked to be deleted. I can review them. I go, yeah, I need to get rid of all of those or not. If I want to Change, if I change my mind on all of them, I tap on the button on the bottom that says recover all, puts them right back where they came from, no harm, no foul. I can tap on the big red delete all, guess what that does. Or I can tap on individual photos and say that one and that one and that one. And now I have options for those three. So see at the bottom it says recover those three, which means I changed my mind, I don't want to delete those. Or delete those three, yeah, those have definitely got to go. Okay, so you got some options there with the trash. And the good news is nothing changes until you actually look at them and then confirm, yes, delete them or recover them, bring them back, okay? So there you go. So really that's it. I mean, it's just that simple. And you can create as many albums as you want by scrolling on the bottom and tapping on that create new album button, okay? Or if you change your mind, I just tap on cancel there. Or you can um, just tap on a different, like if I wanted to put this particular picture, oh, let's scroll over, and I wanted to put it into the class 
uh, album. See, there's my smiling face down there in the middle. If I'm on class, I can just tap on class and that one goes into the class album. Okay. So you don't have to have them in any particular order on the bottom, but I do like to kind of move the one that I'm working on right now over to the number one position. That's just me. It just makes it easier to organize. Okay. And last but not least is the share button, which you see the usual share button there, which is the uh, box with the up arrow. And that gives you uh, options, the ability to send the photo to send the photo that you're looking at to any of the things that you would normally share uh, in your iPhone. And if you've, if you've done anything with the share button, you know, let's take this photo, for example. If I tap on share, well, now I can send it as a text message, you know, to my girlfriend or somebody else. I can uh, send it to uh, my notes. I can send it via a message. I can make a reminder out of it, see all the different things you can do. Now, of course, your phone is going to look different because you have different services and you have different people. But just as, you know, if I wanted to add this photo to a note, just tap on notes. All right, it's going to make a new note out of it. I can, you know, give it some text here and say, my cool photo. All right, and then I tap on the save button up at the top, and now it's made a note out of that photo. But you probably have used the share button before. If you haven't, boy, maybe that's a whole lesson for another day on using the share button, right? So anyway. That is the new photo sorting app called Odoa. <laughs> I hope I'm getting that right. By the way, if you, now that you've done that, if we go back to photos, if I open up photos, right, and I go back to albums, photo albums, right? So there's my recent photos, my class, my New York City, my Instagram dolphin. There's the Wednesday album that I just now created with the seven photos that I put into it. And if I open it up, there you go. There's the photos that I've already moved into it. Ah, clever, right? Clever. All right. So that's if you wanted to see your albums, you can scroll around and find them that way. So there you go. Before I go, but wait, there's more. Uh, so one of our viewers last week wrote in with a question, and that is, can I sort or alphabetize the albums on my phone or my iPad? And the answer is yes. So if I'm in albums, okay, I'm in the, so if I open the photos, all right, let's just open photos app, right? Tap on photos. If you're not in albums, that's see across the bottom where it says photos for you, albums and search, right? If I tap on the albums, then it's going to show me the albums. They kind of scroll across, all right? Or I can tap on see all and it'll open them up. So you want to get this see all uh, page here. So if you're in your albums and it says albums up on the top, that's how you know where you're at. Tap on the see all text up at the top. All right, now I got them all, right? And now tap on the edit button up in the upper right. And now look what happens. Just like your apps, every album gets a little red minus sign next to it, which means I can delete that album if I choose to. But let's say I wanted to put the Wednesday album up at the top. Again, long press, lay your finger on it and wait a second. See how it gets bigger? And now I can drag it up to the top of the photo albums. Oh, and when I let it go and say done, it stays there. Oh, oh. <laughs> problem solved. So anyway, same. Here's the trick. Get into your photos, go to albums, right? Tap on see all up at the top, tap on edit. And then just lay your finger on it and drag and drop it um, at the, up at the top. And that way you can move them around. All right. And then when you're done, tap on done and you're done. Now, what happened, Bill? It didn't go to the top. Well, no, because there's the recents and the favorites and they're locked in place. Sorry, can't help you. They're locked in place there. So there you go. All right. So, but you can move them around to your liking other than that. Awesome. And then when you come back to it the next time, Let's uh, close this. If I close photos, close everybody, close everybody, and then go back to uh, photos and go to albums. There they are. The Wednesday one is right at the front. How cool is that? All right. It's going to do it. Let's, uh, if, by the way, if you are curious or would like more about this, we've started doing this. Let me move over. Here's the handout for today's What's New Wednesday. It's already done. If you would like to get this, sent to you, okay, all you have to do is go over to the blog page, which there it is, BillSklodowski.com. I'll put this in the, in the notes underneath the, the post here, but you've heard me talk about it before, BillSklodowski.com. 
you sign up for the email newsletter list, become a member of our tribe, and what happens is every week, usually on a Sunday, I'll send you a recap of the week's videos and you'll get automatically, and for free I might add, you'll get the handout if there was one for What's New Wednesday. I can't guarantee there'll always be a, a handout, a, 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 a you know, material like this. But there will be always one, of course, for iPhone Friday, and you'll get that for free, automatically delivered to you via email every weekend. I can't make it any easier than that. <laughs> so head on over to the blog post, again, to the blog page, BillSklodowski.com. Uh, right on the front page, there's a big button that says, click me, click me, and uh, you'll get yourself signed up for all of the, uh, I'll let you know what the videos uh, were for the past week if you missed one. I'll give you a link to the video so you can go watch it in case you missed it. And I'll give you links where you can download your very own copy, your very own copies of the handouts as I create them. Awesome. And of course, as always, if you have questions or comments, please leave them here. I read and respond to every one. If there's something that uh, you would like to figure out, if there's something driving you crazy about your iPhone and you uh, just don't know exactly how to uh, figure it out or you've been, you know, just pulling your hair out trying to figure things out, leave a question. Again, it doesn't matter here on Facebook or on YouTube or on the blog. I, I check them all every day, so you're good. And uh, maybe if it's a good question, we will use it for our very next iPhone Friday or What's New Wednesday. Uh, as always, thank you for joining me. If you think this would be helpful to friends or family or colleagues, feel free to share it. I very much appreciate that. And uh, we'll see you Friday for uh, iPhone Friday, of course. So that's coming up. So thanks again. Have a good night. We'll talk soon. Bye for now.